Check out the latest highlights from the Nourishing You podcast. So if we had this dis- some kind of this connection happening and something's off in our gut, and maybe you can talk about like what kinds of things might be off or out of balance that could cause these nerve signals, but how might that show up in symptoms related to mood issues aside from anxiety? Are there some other things that might, you know, kind of make you think, oh, maybe there's something going on with my gut as well. It's not just, um, just my mood. Definitely. Yeah. So other common symptoms that are part of that sort of gut brain axis connection, um, when things are out of balance, um, probably another one at the top of the list would be fatigue. Um, So a lot of patients experience fatigue. Part of that picture can be because of these imbalances in the gut. Um, So when I talk about imbalances, I'm largely talking about the balance between good bacteria and then bad bacteria, um, and then how they interact uh, with the the immune system, the intestinal lining. Uh, If you have too many of the bad bacteria, they can contribute to leaky gut, as I mentioned. Um, But as far as other uh, common symptoms, this isn't really so much of a mood uh, uh, issue itself, but brain fog sort of that idea that your brain just isn't able to, to think clearly. Um, you may have reduced sort of endurance. Uh, your brain may become fatigued more easily. Um, and then there's, this is kind of part of that spectrum with anxiety, but some patients can have more of kind of an agitation uh, or even kind of a stimulation effect uh, when there's an imbalance in the gut. Um, so that can kind of manifest in different patients in different ways. Um, so those are just a few additional examples of some of the, uh, the other imbalances that may occur when the gut brain axis is not as healthy as it should be. If you enjoyed this short episode, check out our full library on our NAMP YouTube channel where you can catch up or learn more. Keep in mind that the information on the NAMP podcast is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical or legal advice. The NAMP is not liable or responsible for any harm, damage, or illness arising from the use of the information contained herein. By listening to the information on this podcast, you agree to defend, indemnify, and hold harmless the NAMP and all agents. Copyright NAMP. All rights reserved.